Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. In my world, it is Wednesday today, which means the studio is closed. Today is my flex day where I am spending most of the day at home. I'm meeting a friend for lunch. I also have a very fun activity happening later tonight, doing some wreath making with some other uh, women business owners. So I'm so excited about that. So everything that's going on today, I'm gonna to be bringing you guys along with me for this day of Vlogmas. If you're new to the channel, my name is Shawan and I typically share business tips for women entrepreneurs, as well as take you behind the scenes in my life and business as an entrepreneur. So today is one of those back behind the scenes days. I'm gonna bring you along with me. I am going to be kicking off the morning with getting some editing done. I need to edit yesterday's video. Oh my goodness, I was so tired yesterday. It has been a busy time already. And I don't know about you guys, but I know how to say, no, I can't do that. No, I can't make it. And yesterday, although I had signed up to attend something in the evening, I just couldn't push myself to uh, make the commitment. So I sent a quick email to say, I'm so sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Um, I was just exhausted, like I was exhausted. I feel like leading from, you know, going from Thanksgiving, diving into Vlogmas, I have this big program that I've been working on and wanting to serve my clients well, like so many things going on. Yesterday, I was like, I need a breather. I missed my nap on Sunday and I think that just kind of caught up with me. So. I was in the bed by 6 p.m. Yes, 6 p.m. I was in the bed. So I got up this morning, did my little workout. I'm feeling great. I am here in one of my favorite spaces at home. Um, I'm sure you guys probably saw the video. If you didn't, go back and watch it. I show you just setting up this space for Christmas and I just love being out here. It's a rainy day today and um, I have, like I said, some editing to get done. I'm gonna work on that first. I've also been kind of absent this week, except for doing some IG stories um, over on Instagram. But um, I'm going to make sure I get some um, posts all scheduled for both Instagram and Facebook. So I don't leave my people hanging on those platforms. Um, I use a system that really helps me to stay organized and plan things out. So it's really not a lot, but when I am like very busy and right now too, like YouTube is my focus, being here with you is my focus. So yeah, I've got to just get everything scheduled and get back on top of things. But Oh my goodness, I'm excited to bring you along with me for today's Vlogmas Day. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive on into today's Vlogmas video. I just opened up my laptop and my Zoom uh, app was still open and I thought about it and I said, this is one of the reasons why I was pretty drained yesterday. I have been on quite a few Zoom calls this week with Coffee Connects and consultations and um, those are the primary things. Oh, yesterday too, meeting with my, um, my coaching clients inside of my program. But putting out so much energy and you know being present when you're on a call and um, with my clients, I, I talk about serving my clients well because that's something um, that's definitely important to me. So like showing up and um, you know being present and putting out so much energy um, this week, every day, like Monday, Tuesday, uh, multiple days of doing that. And I, I know that for me, I really need to take pauses after I um, have like multiple calls and conversations with people. I really need to take a pause and just um, restore my energy so to speak so just taking the time taking the time to just breathe and to um, have some downtime um, I really do need that to recharge and yesterday I think I yeah I was just completely on empty like oh my goodness I had um, gone into the studio early 
both Monday and Tuesday recording um, videos. So that was more more energy I was exerting and putting out to for good things. Um, but I know what I need to make sure that I'm staying recharged and um, not just, you know, running on empty. So like getting, you know, going to bed last night at 6 p.m. That was exactly what I needed in order to just fill my tank up, you know, um, be energized for today uh, because the rest of well today is the last day today is the last day where i'm meeting um, someone or going to a meeting tonight's uh, meeting is actually out um and i think i just have one more meeting this week and that's on friday so yeah yesterday i was like okay i think i've like maxed myself out and I was, yeah, out like a light. But I just wanted to pause and say that, you know, as I opened up my laptop, I saw Zoom seal up and I was like, oh, like that's one of the reasons you were definitely exhausted. So I think it's just a matter of being self-aware and knowing what you need. Um, there's so much, you know, that we do as small business owners. And if you have a family, um, you have responsibility too with your family, like things that, um, taking care of your people so um yeah there's just so much and sometimes you do have to take that pause and for me if i don't my body is going to say hey girl i'm putting on the brakes you need to chill for a minute and i am not going to let you keep going so that is yeah what happened yesterday i am thankful that I was able to um, get in the bed early. So yeah, I, mean, I just wanted to pause. Let me stop chit chatting. Let me get to these um, videos. But first I'm going to go ahead and do my um, social and get that done. I had a plan for this week. I just didn't execute it. So I am going to get my plan out that I had actually I have my <laughs> my goal planner is mounted on top of a book to elevate my little mini tripod over here. So I am going to stop right now so I can grab my planner and look at my plan that I had and um, write these few posts up for the week, probably into next week too. So that way I'm, I'm kind of ahead as well. And yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. house I am texting her to let her know that I'm on my way I'm excited to hang out and spend some time together today uh, she is one of those friends where I have said oh my gosh why why are we just now hanging out you know um, our kids went to the same school for a little bit and man I have we have just had um, great times together that we've hung out. Um, she was at my house a few weeks ago and we met each other. I think the very first time was at a thrift store. And I told her when she stopped by, I was like, you know what, that thing that, um, <laughs> that I, I purchased at the thrift store, it is still there, um, not painted. And she was like, oh, it looks good. Um, I can say one thing about her. She's an interior designer. Um, although she doesn't do it full time, I truly wish that she did because she is so talented. I, oh my gosh, she is, ah, she is very talented. And that is something that we have in common. While I do it for fun, um, she is the real deal and I just enjoy I'm hanging out with her. She's so easy to talk to. We always have a great time. So I am on my way over. I better start driving. Um, it is raining, but that's that's all good. I always say when it's raining out, the sun's out somewhere. It's just liquid sunshine. But let me head over to her house and um, spend a few hours with her. And yeah, I'm sure I won't take you guys along with me for that, but I'll pop back in once I am on my way back home and getting ready for my event that I'm bringing you along with me tonight. So let me get driving and I'll pop back in later. So 
I made it for our wreath making night at Flowers by the Station, which is owned by Jennifer Guerin. We had such a fabulous time and let's head inside. Boston Market Distillery. We're based in Dorchester. I know it's ever visited the distillery or not. We're right next to the Nephew Restaurant in Boston Winery. Right up in the Concert Circle. We have a bunch of stuff tonight. We have our I'll shout you out on YouTube. Alright, let's try this. This is delicious. Hmm. Espresso martini with maple cream by Boston Harbor Distillery. We are having a fabulous night. This was such a fun activity um, in lieu of our regular um, networking nights. You know, when it comes to networking, it's all about building those relationships and doing an activity like this definitely lends itself to that relationship building component. We had such a fun time. Oh my goodness, so many laughs. And we took a ton of photos and just to see everyone's creativity come through um, their individual wreaths was also quite enjoyable. Uh, Jennifer did a wonderful job. She and her assistant Maggie with just leading us and guiding us, you know, step by step. Um, some of us were a little bit challenged, especially for that bow making part. It looks a lot easier. They make it look easy, but let me tell you, we had a few do-overs and oh my gosh, <laughs> that definitely resulted in some laughs. But wow, what a great night. A lot of great memories made and um, stronger connections. <laughs> just all this fun activity. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for this Vlogmas Day. What a fun day I had. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Happy holidays! <laughs> Suits me. Here's a nice, like, another one that looks like a good one.